Greetings and salutations, my fellow God Eaters. My name is Eddie, or the Corrupted HD for short, and I'm bringing you my last God Eater 2 Rage Burst Weapon Guide video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the variant side. And to start off, this weapon is actually quite special, and according to the database, the mouth can be metamorphosed into numerous blades, increasing the range. And in a short second, I'm going to be moving on into the gameplay. But of course, you know that this weapon will, should be used at a medium range. You really won't be getting up close and personal with this weapon at all. And even with this extended range, only the square combos will actually not extend the blade at all. But uh, its triangle attacks and its special attacks will definitely, for a fact, extend it out to them. And you don't want to be too close, you run the risk of getting hit you know, missing, not doing the ideal damage that you're looking for with this weapon. But with that being said, this weapon is actually quite adaptable. This weapon could be used against slow origami, fast origami, big origami, small origami, you name it, this weapon can probably do it. And I'm thinking with slower origami, I mean, you can just swing at them all day long. And against the fast origami, well, let's be honest, they're going to be moving all around the place. But since you have that extended range, the range can make up for that origami being really fast. And adding on, there's actually another perk with this weapon that you can get. Uh, let's say you're doing a bunch of aerial attacks, right? Well, with the other weapons, you can only have three attacks, you know? But at least with the variant sight, you can actually have three mid-air square attacks, and then you can finish it off with a triangle to slash them back onto the ground. I actually find that quite unique. But now I'm going to move on to the coup de gras of this weapon called the Extend Bite. And I ain't even going to lie to you, th doing this technique actually took me a really long time to even learn how to do, much less use in a proper situation, right? And now I want to get to the coup de gras for this weapon. It's actually called the Extend Bite. And the way to do this is somewhat complicated. It took me a minute to do it. What you have to do is do R1 plus square. And you can keep tapping square to consume more stamina, but to do more hits. And to do the vertical fang, you hit triangle while you're doing round fang. And then after the vertical fang hits, you can bring your scythe right back to you. you let it rip like Beyblade. And you do that with R1 plus square again. But if, you know, using it for an extended period of time will consume a lot of stamina. So if you have a lot of stamina mods, doing that will actually be really, really fruitful for you. And I believe that covers it. You have Variant Scythe, uh, medium to long-ish range. Uh, I went over its special attacks, the Extend Bite, consisting of Round Fang, Vertical Fang, and Cleave Fang, consuming lots of stamina. Uh, has one more aerial square attack than the other weapons. You can do more damage with it that way. Yeah, I think that about does it for me. Alright, that will be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any way that you can make my next video better, please let me know. I'm always open to feedback. But until then, peace out, and I will see you guys next time.